Here on Triple M, I have had the honor of talking to some absolutely incredible people. But this next guest has to take the cake. He is the Swiss Army knife of the sports media industry. That's it. Y'all probably guessed it by now. It's my boy, Pat McAfee. Obviously, the Colts are uh, kind of your squad. You kind of know a little bit about the Colts. What is your thoughts on Wentz not getting his number? I do not like that the first thing he did with our team is have a little bit of a moment with a wide receiver that is really our only weapon that's on the team currently. That could potentially put him in the mental headspace that he was in Philadelphia, where Michael Pittman goes, eh, it's gonna be my number or whatever. It's like, yo, Pittman, don't, don't dance on his grave on TMZ, by the way, that you're not giving him his number. So the whole, if Carson Wentz wants 11, I would like him to know that every other human that's ever been in the NFL is like, hey, you're the f quarterback go get 11 a guy who had 503 yards last year is not the one who's going to determine whether or not you wear 11 or not but it feels like Carson's excited for the fresh start uh he does have Pittman who could be a weapon for him we have a great offensive line uh I just hope he does whatever the hell he wants to do I just hope he's not broken like he was last year because I think he can be good and this team is really good in Indianapolis and I want to put you on a hot seat and these most of these are just like one word or like yes or no questions. I mean, if you can't think of one, you can say pass. Um, so first concert. OAR. OAR, okay. First car. Uh, Jeep Wrangler, uh, Jeep Lightning. Some couldn't go to speed limit in most roads, but it had two 12s in the back. First job. Rudy Subs and Pizza 286 would be my official first job. They paid me. Uh, that lasted two weeks. I got fired, bro. <laughs> Quit before they could fire me. Well, that's all you got to do. You got to stay ahead of the, the bear that's chasing you. Um, favorite drink? Right now, it's Gatorade Zero Glacier Freeze. Okay. Do you like the zero? You don't like the sugar? No sugar intake? You got to work on the muscles? No, no. I did keto for like six months. Uh. And I'm not doing it now, but I've carried over some of the things. Not that it helps at all, but the Gatorade Zero makes me feel like I'm still a little bit healthy. <laughs> yeah. But it tastes good. Okay, if you taught a high school class, what class would it be? Life. Your favorite condiment? Like you only can choose one for the rest of your life. Ketchup. Ketchup. Okay, I like ketchup too. Do you eat ketchup on hot dogs? Yeah. Okay, people make fun of me for that. Apparently it's not, oh. not a thing that you're supposed to do. Yeah, those people suck. How do you start your day? I check my phone. Like I, I need to catch up with everything that happened overnight. I think that's standard operation if you want to go on the internet. Okay, something you hate, like absolutely despise. It could be a food, a color, like a, an animal, just like something you hate. People chewing with their mouth open. I, oh, it's gross. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah, I'm a couple in the <laughs> office. I've always. <laughs> times. Okay, favorite animal? Dog. And her name is Valerie. To be more specific, my favorite animal. Favorite 90s wrestler? You can't pick one, right? Because the 90s era. The Attitude Era was just next level. Obviously, oh, the Rock yeah. Stone Cold carried that thing. Uh, they actually put WWE on their back and put them to where they're at right now. But then you got Ric Flair, obviously, who bounced around. Uh, D-Generation X, Mr. H and I have done some business together. Suck it. Okay, like that. <laughs> the um, Yeah, I, I, it's kind of tough. That entire Kurt Angle was special. Brock Lesnar was awesome. Uh, and then obviously all the divas carried the, the goddamn show for a too. I would just say maybe 90s era wrestling is probably my favorite wrestling of all time. With the Pat McAfee Foundation, you do some great stuff. Just wanted to, you to tell some people about that. Just like in the beginning, they might not know your story and they might not know how awesome you are at giving back. So I wanted to give you a chance to kind of let people know about that as well. One of my brother's best friends uh, like an older brother to me, served in the army, got discharged because something blew up in his leg in Iraq, I believe, or Afghanistan. So it was just, it was a natural fit for me to start working with the military. My dad became the head of it. That became his full-time job, uh, the Pat McAfee Foundation. And we give scholarships to children of military families, over a half a million to date over the last few years, and just gonna keep on trying to grow that thing as much as possible. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's one of those things. It's, I never dreamt that I would have the uh, amount of money that I have ever in my entire life. And once you take care of your people, it's nice. It's like real fulfillment to take care of people uh, and help out whenever you can. And I think everybody does it that's in my position. So I don't think it's that big of a deal. I just think it's kind of my part of this whole thing. All right, y'all, that's all I have for this week. Hopefully you enjoyed Pat and this hot takes just as much as I did. Y'all heard it from him. Ketchup does go on a hot dog. Best of luck and let's make some money.